Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. This is our lesson 2 on Postman Tool Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we create a first API request by using REST service and then how can we run the created API request and how can we analyze the response and the results by using Postman. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on the icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to create a new workspace in Postman and then how can you create a new REST API request within the workspace and what is the meaning of workspace and how to run REST request message by using Postman and also how to analyze the response and the results of your API request message. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these activities. So this is my uh, Postman tool, okay? Uh, I have already explained you how can you download and install Postman tool in my previous lesson. I would suggest you guys to visit my previous lesson, okay? So first, let me create a new workspace. So what do you mean by workspace? Workspace is where all the project related files whatever you create by using postman will be stored in a particular workspace of your system okay so let's create one workspace name this as youtube youtube project okay and you can provide your summary here it's an optional and what is the visibility of this workspace do you want to make this workspace to visible only particular person or do you want to make it as a private or do you want to make this as visible to your entire team or do you want to make it as public so instead public i want to select team so that my team can view this workspace okay click on create workspace so as soon as you click on create workspace it redirects you to the youtube project workspace this is my YouTube project workspace home page, overview page. And if you see the left side, I can see collections, APIs, environment, environments, mock servers, monitors, flows, and history. I'm going to explain all these options in the further videos whenever we uh, get into the relative topic. Okay. So now let's create an API. So there are three methods. methods how to create a very simple API. Either you can click on create an API or you can click on new from the file option. From file, click on new. As soon as you click on new, it's going to ask you what new element do you want to create? Do you want to create HTTP HTTP request or do you want to create collections or do you want to create workspace or environment or API? right so we already created workspace now i want to create api so this is one method of creating a new api or another one is exact besides your workspace you have a new button click on this button it's going to open the same window you can create your api from here as well or you can use import button so that you can import your schema if you have schema with you you can import your schema so that you can use an existing apis to execute okay so for today's session i'm going to create a new api request click on new and now i don't want to create a new api entire development process i want to just take a basic get http request okay just select this get http request as soon as you select get HTTP request, now what is the REST service that I want to test by using Postman? 
for that you need to just provide rec res dot in it's open source uh, website where it provides you lot of request messages if you see here this get request is to get all the user details this get request is to get a particular single user details if I provide two then it's gonna give me the details of user second user if I provide three it's gonna give me the details of a user who is having the ID as three okay so for that I want to copy this request message URL and then provide here provide the URL entire request rest service URL enter see it is giving me response with the user 2 okay now I want to automate this for that I copied the URL go to postman here under get because what is the is it post put get or what so mine is get if you see here this is get this is post create is post put is to update patch delete is to delete so now because I am using a get operation I want to select get and here you need to provide the URL that we copied okay so what is the URL let me copy this again the URL the entire URL is this copy this and paste the URL okay and now if you see here under rest request body you can see parameters authorization for the authorization if I need to provide some basic authorization I can provide the basic authorization where I'll be providing my username and password in generally in the corporate world we will have the authorization okay and header what is the header values currently my header does not have any key values okay because it's very simple request message and what is the body even I don't have the body if you see here uh, to update the request you will have a body but this is just to send a request URL so that I can get the response so the body is not required for this request okay and then you have some pre-request script I'm going to tell you how to use this pre-request script, uh, script in the further videos and also tests if you have any test cases you can write your test cases here for this particular API service so that your test cases will be whenever you execute this particular request corresponding test cases will become pass or fail okay I'm gonna explain this again in further sessions okay so now let me send this request and see what is the response if you see at the bottom I can see the response here okay click on send so if you see I got the response so email is this one first name is Janet last name is Weaver right and this is my request and then response and if you see the response so there are different options if you want to see the response in pretty format you just select pretty it gives you pretty format if you want to see in the raw format you select raw this is my raw format if you want to see in preview you can see in the preview okay and other options and also what is the response because I am using the rest service my rest response rest response will be in the JSON format that's the reason I selected JSON if you want if you are using a SOAP request then you might be selecting the response with XML format right so currently this is a JSON you can select JSON or you can select HTML text whatever the responses you want okay and now and now if your response line is very big if your response line is like very big one single line you can use a wrap here wrap your text if you click on wrap your text it's going to wrap your text and you can see the entire text okay and if you see here my status that means the response status is 200k that means successful response and what is the time that it took to get the response if you see if you hover on the time 
it is showing me for socket initialization it took 16 milliseconds for dns lookup it took 1 millisecond for tcp handshake it took 28 milliseconds for ssl handshake it took 35 milliseconds so that detail you can see the entire performance of your request message when request message is sent from client to a server right you can see that the time it took to get the response and what is the size of your request message that means what is the size of your body what is the size of your header right those are all the options you have and also if you want to copy your response body you can copy here when you click on this copy it's going to copy the response to the clipboard if you want to save your response you can save the response as a file or as an example when you click on save save to file save to your file that means this response will be saving into the file okay and if i go to history if i go to history i can see that i sent this request message once so let me send the request message one more time okay let me send the request message one more time okay if you see here let me send the request one more time okay send it one more time and go back to history now you see you have history of two times and send one more time see you got third history that means the history will be storing all your history of your execution okay now this api we have not stored this api right how to save that means i did not save this api how to save the api click on save as soon as you click on save it's going to ask you to the name the request i'm going to name this as single user and do you want to create a collection for this request so what is the meaning of collection how can how can we create a collection how to use the collection all these concepts i'm going to explain in the next session okay immediate next section okay for now i'm just creating a collection called youtube collection okay i'm creating this and then i'm going to save it if you see here now if you see under collections a new collection called youtube collection is created and now whatever the request message that i created has been stored under the youtube collection it's so really really very important concept of collections that i will gonna i'm gonna cover in the next session okay and if you see the history so now let me execute this again and go go to history see you have fourth one so that means you can create your request and response messages you can analyze your response this way and also if you see you have an option in the responses you have an option of looking at cookies and header elements what are all the header elements that I have in the request and what are all the test results for this particular request message because currently i don't have any tests for this request single user i don't see any test results okay i'm going to cover uh, the creation of the test cases and test results for any given rest services uh, in the further sessions okay and these are all the options you have and i'm going to cover rest of the topics in the further session it's a very simple request message that we have taken and in our further sessions we are going to cover very complex uh, scenarios and very uh, and also uh, different uh, technical concepts for testing or for testing rest or soap api request messages okay so it's very important guys uh, stay tuned for the upcoming sessions if you have any queries uh, you can provide uh, your queries in the comment box i'm going to i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you